I'm Jonathan Ayers with Network for Success and today we're going to talk about what should you look for when buying a computer. Well gosh, computers are complex and there are so many different items, but let's talk about what really is important to you as an end user when you're buying a computer. My first suggestion is that you get the largest display that you can afford and the reason for that is what do you do with a computer other than sit in front of it? You don't play football with it. You don't ride around on it. You don't sit back with your eyes closed. You sit right in front of a display with a keyboard and that's what you do all the time. So the larger the computer display, the easier it's going to be on your eyes. And although in the short run that might not make much difference to you, over the years it will be the difference in how soon you have to wear glasses. So it's very important to get a large display of a high resolution. That's step one. Now the next thing to look at is what are you going to do with a computer? Are you the kind of person that takes thousands of photographs of your grandchildren and you want to store them? Or of your grandparents and you'd like to store those photos? Then look for a computer with a large hard drive. A hard drive is the storage device on the computer that permanently stores your items. So a large hard drive in this day and age would be somewhere around 300 or 500 gigabytes. Now the next thing you need to be concerned about is the processor and the memory. And those two things really go together. So we want to make sure that we have a modern processor. A modern processor in this day and age has two cores to it or two brains. They're called dual core processors. Some of them are four core processors or quad core processors. But make sure that you pick a computer that has a dual core processor. Always get the latest processor when you go out to look at buying a computer. And then you want to make sure you have enough RAM. And RAM is the random access memory that helps the computer operate quickly. It's very important that you have a lot of it. In this day and age, once again, we're talking about having what they say, a half a gig of RAM minimum. Uh, that's not enough. In this day and age, you need two gigs. A uh, half gig will just barely run the operating system. So always search for a computer that has as much memory as you can get. Two gigs, three gigs, four gigs, always much better than half a gig. Also look for a computer that will display pictures quickly, whether it's video or still photos or whatever, you want to have one that renders them quickly. So it's got to have a good video card in it. All of these things I've been telling you don't make any difference whether you're going to buy a Macintosh or a PC. These are items that you need to look for. So when you go out shopping, shop looking with those ideas in mind.